Well, hello guys, it's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make some stuffed mushrooms. And as you can see, I have the mushrooms here. And these are mushrooms for stuffing. They're a nice size. So I have about eight of them here. I have some cream cheese over here and some butter. I have some panko breadcrumbs. So I have a um, half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I have a teaspoon of sea salt. I have a teaspoon of onion powder. One quarter teaspoon of um, red ground red pepper. Um, you don't want to put a lot of that in because it can make your um, dish very hot. So I'm only putting like a quarter a teaspoon of ground red pepper. I have two tablespoons of fresh parsley, two tablespoons of minced garlic. I have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. So I have those here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take the stems out of the mushrooms and you just pull them out like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to... um cut the stems up and that will be part of the stuffing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these out and then that way I'll be able to cut them up and you see how that looks. And also I'm going to show you how um, I clean the membranes out of the mushrooms because you don't want to leave those in. Now these mushrooms have been, um, I rinsed them off and I took a damp paper towel and I cleaned them off so they're nice and clean. So, I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to chop up the stems to the mushrooms, and then we'll be back. And I can see this one broke a little bit, but it doesn't make a difference, because once you put the stuffing in, it'll still stay together. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, you see I have the mushroom stems here, and I'm chopping them up very fine. Because they are going to go in the stuffing. So, I'm going to get this all together here. And you just slice them. And then just start chopping them from side to side. Take your knife and go different ways. And they'll chop up really fine for you. And that's what I did with these. So, I'm going to get these in the mixing bowl. And we're going to mix up the stuffing. Well, first of all, I want to grill this off with the um, garlic. Um, just to make them nice and soft. You don't want to put them in the mushrooms raw. So we'll do that. And then we'll mix our stuffing up for mushrooms and then stuff them. Be right back. Now, guys, what I have here is a tablespoon of um, butter. And what I'm going to do is put the mushroom stems that I chopped. I'm just going to put them in the butter. Just like so. Here we go. Put those in there. Okay. Now, also to that, I'm going to add our minced garlic. And let that just cook. Now, that's two tablespoons of minced garlic. Let me get it all out of here. Okay. And we're just going to let this... Um, stir fry a little bit until it gets like a little translucent you know you can tell when the vegetables get soft and that's what we're looking for so I'm gonna let the veggies get soft and then we'll make our stuffing for our mushrooms all right there we go Okay, guys, see have, these have only been going for two minutes, and you can see the difference. They're nice and soft now. So I think they're ready. I'm going to turn the fire off, and I'm going to set these to the side, and I'm going to prepare our um, stuffing for our mushrooms. Okay, guys, what I wanted to show you also let me move this to the side. I have a mushroom here. Um, when you look at your mushrooms, pull it back a little. Look at that. You see it? 
See that membrane in there? You want to take this crap out of here. Look at this. Look. So you just take a spoon. Go around the mushroom like I'm doing. Look at all of that stuff that comes out. And see, you want to be left with that shell. And not only that, that gives you more room to put stuffing in your mushrooms. See, look at that. You want to get this out of here. It's, it's, that's just the membrane part. Now, it's up to you, but I would clean that out before I did my mushrooms. Because believe me, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> Okay, so when you um, buy mushrooms and stuff, basically um, sliced and stuff, you don't really see all of that. So, but you see these are stuffing mushrooms, and I'm just peeling it back. Take all of this out. After you remove the stem, and look at this. Look. You can see all of that membrane in there. And I don't want to eat it. It tastes kind of bitter to me. Um, look at that. See how it comes out? And you just take your spoon, turn the mushroom around, and take it out like that. And just discard it. You don't want it. And look how nice the mushroom is inside after you get done. So it's ready for stuffing. But I just wanted to show you guys that um, process. So I'm going to do the rest of them and we'll get them stuffed. Okay, guys, I finished cleaning the membranes out of the mushrooms. And let me show you. Here they go. They're all hollowed out and they're ready for the stuffing. So now I have the cream cheese in here. And what we're going to do is nice and soft. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So what I'm going to do, I am going to add... The panko breadcrumbs, and that's a half a cup. The teaspoon of sea salt. The teaspoon of onion powder. This will be really quick, guys. I got the quarter teaspoon of um, ground red pepper. Let me put that in there. That always sticks to the container there. Okay. Now we have um, our half a cup of... Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of cheddar cheese. And we also have two tablespoons of fresh parsley. So what I'm going to do is mix this all up, guys. And then it'll be ready to stuff in our mushrooms. And while I was cleaning the membranes out, um, I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, guys, you know what I almost forgot? I forgot to put in... Our mushroom stems and the garlic. I'm like, why is this so sticky? I'm all over the place sometimes. But at least I um, remembered it. Okay, this is one of the important parts. I was wondering why it was just so sticky with the cheese. Okay, here we go. Now, we'll finish mixing this up. And then it's ready to stuff in our mushrooms. And what I did, I pre, um, I greased the, um, sheet pan, and I'm going to put our mushrooms on there. And I got the oven heated, like I said, for 350 degrees, and I'm only going to leave them in there for maybe, like, 15 minutes. I'll look at it at 15 minutes. I don't want them to overcook. But sometimes it's, sometime it's like 20 minutes. It, it all depends on your oven. You know, just do your oven, guys. Do your oven because um, everybody's oven is different. Okay. I know the one I used to have, um, I was just so used to it. It was electric range. But years ago, I cooked on gas. I wouldn't cook on nothing but gas. And then I, after I got used to the electric range, it was okay. Now I'm back to gas. I'm like, Donna, you're going to be burning up some stuff up in this kitchen. Okay. Here we go. Now, you see how that is? And it's not as sticky with all the cheese. I'm like, why is this so sticky? Forgot the stems. Mm, mm, mm. Can't take me nowhere sometimes. Okay. This really looks good. Now, we're going to stuff our mushrooms. Hold on, guys. 
Okay, guys, I figured maybe the best way. I'm going to try an ice cream scoop and see what happens. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think that worked, guys. Okay. I'm going to need a paper towel, though, because I'm going to have this stuff all over my hands. Okay. Especially for the bigger mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And you should smell this um, stuffing, guys. Once I added those stems with that garlic and everything, smells amazing. I can't wait till they cook. Okay. Beautiful, huh? I'm getting it all over my sheet. I should have probably did that in a plate and then put them on my sheet. Okay. Alrighty. So now, just put them in there like that. And it's enough stuffing. And that's the thing about when you, it seems like the amount of mushrooms that you have, um, the stuffing just comes out perfect to put in there, you know, the right amount. Okay. See how this look, guys? All righty. Okay. Stuff and behave yourself. There we go. I don't want to get it all over the place, which I'm probably going to do. Now I have two small ones left. And this might do it. There we go. Look at that, guys. Okay, and this is for the other little tiny one I got over there. Yeah, this is really small. Look at this. How could they put that in a pack with the um, big mushrooms and it's say it's a stuffed mushroom? That's just a regular button mushroom to me. <laughs> okay, now I got little stuffing all over the place. I'll just put that in the little one. All righty. Now look at that, guys. So now I'm going to put these in the oven and let them bake. And I'll show you guys just how this looks when it comes out. And I mean, it's a lot of stuff in them babies too. Okay, I'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, guys, our mushrooms are out of the oven. I left them in there for exactly 20 minutes. And look at this, guys. Look how beautiful they look. Mmm, yum. Now, what I have here, I took that little baby one. <laughs> that was the small one. So, I'm going to let you guys know how this tastes. Look at that when you cut it. Mmm, yum. Look at that. And you can see the cheese. So, let me taste this. Since this, look at it, the cheese roping. Really good. Mmm-hmm. Oh my guys, this is really good. Mm. And you know that little bit of red pepper I put in there, only a quarter teaspoon? You could taste it. It gives it like a little spiciness, but it's not hot. And you can see the mushroom. Mm. Oh my God, guys, this is so good. Mm. You have to make this for yourself. Try this recipe out. This is really delicious. And all of that cheese, you could taste the cream cheese, the um, cheddar, the parmesan. It's really good. I have to make some more of these because um, I'm going to eat this little one. And I only got seven left. Hopefully, I'll get some because my husband will wipe these out. He loves stuffed mushrooms. And you can see how nice and tender the mushroom is. <laughs> Look at the cheese is broken. Really good. So, mm, let me move that out the way. Mm. So, make this for your family, guys. For this recipe and more, go to favorswithatwist.com. YouTubers, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So, you'll be alerted of all the recipes that I upload. And... Like I said, this is a quick and easy recipe. 
um, you could mix this up in no time. And I think you're really going to enjoy it and your family will enjoy it too. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.